Well, hey there, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. I'm up here in the mountains of Montana, where I live, heading to Las Vegas today. And I'm going to take you along with me. I'm headed to Vi Academy 6.0, the Steve Vi Guitar Camp. There's so many amazing people that are going to be teaching this guitar camp. I'm very honored to be there. I'll be teaching alongside Nuno Betancourt, Guthrie Govan, Mr. Steve Vi himself, of course, Tommy Emmanuel, Yvette Young, uh, Billy Sheehan, and many other great people. So it's going to be an amazing time. I'm very excited about it. Let's go. So I made it here to Bozeman Airport. It's quite a nice airport. It's very small. You can just park right across the street and walk on over. It's a beautiful day outside. Another fella with a bass guitar right there. I got mine on my back. And here I am at the gate. So I'm going to sit down and answer some emails. Las Vegas, actually late Las Vegas, to the hotel, got checked in, and I'm heading down in about 45 minutes to kind of welcome all the campers with Steve and all the different artists will be there. I think anyone whose flight wasn't delayed, that is. We're on a group text and there were a couple of flight delays. It's great to be here, feeling good and looking forward to meeting everybody and making some good memories. Your enjoyment, your lack of any fear, your lack of any concerns, your lack of believing that there's some kind of a formula that you have to understand. So this year, uh, again, I'm extraordinarily lucky to have guests that have absolutely found their note, joyous notes. And I want to bring them up on the stage now, maybe just one at a time quick. So it's day two of the Vi Academy. Someone's jamming in that room. And uh, it's been great so far. I did my first workshop this morning, a workshop on technique and practicing. I had some great questions from people. We did a bit of a panel with Steve last night and uh, that was a blast. Not just with Steve, with Guthrie Dovin and Yvette Young and different people. I'm trying to find my way to the event center here. It's a bit of a labyrinth, this hotel. But so far it's a bunch of really nice people, so that's a beautiful thing. Today I'm gonna be jamming with Steve and his band. We're gonna play my song, Sorry. So that's gonna be too much fun. But before then I'm doing another masterclass, teaching to a more beginner uh, group today. First class was advanced. And then I think Tommy Emmanuel is arriving later this afternoon, so maybe I'll connect with him. Tomorrow he's performing and doing master classes. And I think we're slated to maybe play together a little, so it's always a great time. Not just playing with Tommy, but just being around him and catching up with, with him. <laughs> So 
We just got done with sound check. Playing through a big old Marshall JCM 800. It's good fun. Guthrie Govan's in there at the moment, rehearsing, or sound checking, I should say. Boy, he's an incredible player, to say the least. So needless to say, good times are being had. Okay, it's day two of Vi Academy. I'm just waking up here having some coffee. Yesterday was pretty epic. I taught a class in the morning. We had a break for lunch, and then I taught another class, and then went straight to a panel discussion, which went for quite quite a while, almost two hours, I think, with uh, Guthrie Govan and Billy Sheehan, Steve Vai and myself. So that was really fun being on a panel with those, those amazing folks. And then we had a big photo shoot. Tommy Emanuel came by, Tommy's playing today. We took photos with all the campers. So there's over 200 campers, I understand. And we got them all through on the stage and uh, took a photo with every single one of them, a group photo with every single one of them. So that was, uh, <laughs> it was it was pretty comical. They uh they really got through them. And then in the evening, I got to sit in with Steve Vai and his band, play some songs. It was really fun. Come on in. Yep. So here we go, day two. So I had a great class this morning, and uh, I'm heading now to hear Tommy Emanuel play and to hear Tommy and Steve Vai speak. I got my notepad, and I'm gonna treat this like I'm a journalist, and I'm, I'm not gonna film the whole thing because no one wants to be on stage with the camera in your face. So I met a lot of people who come to, to the Steve's camps and Tommy Emanuel's camps and different ones, g'day. And, uh, I'm very excited to hear Tommy and Steve together because I know there's a lot of mutual respect that goes both ways. So here we go. It's gonna be fun. This is Tommy Emanuel, the best guitar player. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see Tommy and Steve my, hang together. It's gonna be my first time watching Tommy Emanuel. Really? Yeah. Get ready. By the way, it's wonderful, wonderful playing yesterday. Thank yeah. you so I much. I love you. Great. Is there a run for you? Me? I love you a ton, especially. Or just the way how you articulate. It's really good. Thank you, mate. I hope you don't mind filming, making oh, a little video. Don't mind. No, where so where did you guys come in from? New Jersey. You oh, Washington. Wow. Is this for a vlog? Toronto, yeah. but 20 years right. in Bangladesh. Bangladesh, wow. But wow. Toronto now? Yeah, Toronto now. Cool. cool. Is this your first guitar camp like this? Yeah. Second. Second? Yeah, it's my second. Yeah. Which, which, which other one did y'all come to? The Vi one in 2017 in Asilomar. Nice. Pachucci, that would have been fun. Yeah. I'd like to, to uh, be at one of Pachucci's cans. He's a great teacher. He really is. Yeah. Go ahead. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Alright. This is the event center where it all goes down. I have some announcements, but it's, they're just not important enough to stall this man one second longer. <laughs> and that's Tommy Emanuel. Yeah. But let me do the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the fabulous Hotel and Casino, Hilton Lake, Las Vegas. Uh, Mr. Tommy Emanuel. You know, uh, Tommy, you mentioned something that I, I'd like you to 
sort of talk a little bit more about. It was a subject that I brought up with our panel yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's a very important sentence that you said. It was, I was looking for a sound. So that, to me, implies that there was something that you were imagining that you didn't quite necessarily have at the time, but you took your attention out of this and into a, a, a searching, an audible kind of searching mentality. Right. Well, I, I think it was the fact that I'd been listening to uh, some guitar players and I recognized them. Like, I heard B.B. King and I, I knew in one note, I knew exactly who it was and I said, that's his voice. I heard James Burton with Elvis Presley and I and I said, that's that's James and I know that voice. And I heard Albert Lee with Emmy Lou Harris. And I, I recognized there's certain things that he does and you know without a doubt that that's who that is. You know? But I knew that I had something. And and when I played, the audience loved it. And I just kept at it and kept at it and kept growing my audience. So really I was using the response that I got from the public to be my barometer as to this song's working, this song needs to be a little faster, this song needs to be a little slower. All those things I, I, I gleaned from the audience. Yeah. And so as you were discovering this voice, as it was revealing itself to you, mm -hmm. what did it feel like and how did you identify it? What were some of the traits of it? Is it possible to talk yes, about Yes, I can it? tell you what they are. It's, I wanted to play melody like a singer. I listened to Aretha Franklin, uh, Michael McDonald, James Taylor, Bonnie Ray. I mean, you talk, uh, Elton John. Uh, I love Eric Clapton's singing, you know? In fact, when I first met Eric, but the first thing I said to him was how much I loved his singing. And he kind of did a double take. <laughs> like, no one ever says that to me. You know? <laughs> what a beautiful voice. I, again, I would give anything to have a voice like that. I'd be the greatest artist in the world. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but uh, you know, uh, when I play melody, I try to think like a singer. And, and there are certain songs that I've written where I purposely do vocal harmony things underneath melody because I hear that. I hear it in Earth, Wind and Fire records or, you know, I listen to, to pop and rock music and, 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 and I listen to the radio a lot and I'm not one of these nerds who just only listens to guitar music. I could care less. I want to hear a good song. That's what I want to hear. A lot of times I tell people I don't play anywhere near that, that hard. I don't push the sound out of the instrument. I try to pull it to a certain point. <laughs> There's lots of dynamics in the in the the, the acoustic guitar. So <laughs> So we just got done watching Tommy and Steve sit there together for about an hour and a half, chatting away, going back and forth, and even playing a little together. And I got about seven or eight pages of notes here. I love taking notes whenever I'm around. Brilliant and inspiring people. And uh, it was so cool seeing them go back and forth. And uh, the, the mutual respect and humility from, from each of them really stuck with me. So I gotta go teach a class now, beginning in five minutes. So I'm gonna be reflecting on this. It's really, really special, for sure. Yeah. That's cool. I got a, a mate and <laughs> great guitars. That's cool. Hope you don't mind, I'm, I'm filming. Oh, that's did, awesome. Did you enjoy that? I loved it, man. I think it was next level. Yeah, it was pretty special here and then together, yeah. right? It's insane to see, like, you know, the different perspectives and how he uh, 
came about and how he thinks in the process he thinks. Yeah. It was awesome. It was absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> and you enjoying the camp so far? Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Great, great blessed opportunity to be here, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I feel the same. Sitting here signing autographs now. Here's Larry Mitchell, Nuno, Tommy, Steve. We've been signing autographs now for 75 minutes, and uh, still a pretty big line out there of people. Lots of guitars being signed and albums. And Larry's live streaming there. I'm filming him, filming me. There you go. And there's a vet, Billy Sheehan. And it's getting kind of crowded, but I got a smash. Nice people. <laughs> Good times. Bye Academy. Awesome. Thank you. Needless to say, it was an amazing experience being there at the Vi Academy 6.0. I was really honored to be asked to teach, and it was just so nice connecting with all the different folks who attended. And I'm grateful to Steve and the Dreamcatcher folks, Dreamcatcher, the company that put on these camps. So if you get the chance to attend one of these Dreamcatcher camps, I can highly recommend it. It's just a wonderful experience. There's nothing quite like it. They do camps from everyone, from Joe Satriani to Paul Gilbert, Tommy Emanuel. I've been honored to teach at several of Tommy's camps before, and I just might be at one in the near future. And uh, I've also taught at Rodney Crowell's songwriting camp, which is an amazing camp as well. So follow Dreamcatcher on social media, and if you see an artist that you might like to attend a camp that they're putting on, it's a wonderful experience. You won't regret it. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. And if you would like to know the kind of things that I taught at this camp, you can check out my teaching website, invisibletechnique.com. Thanks for watching.